at 6'8", Berryman at 6'5", tallest man on Central's team is 6'4". Boy, that helps. Greg Mask penetrates, pulls up, gets the roll. Second quarter now. Steal from Greg Mask, and he'll go in against Kinnebrew. No foul call, give Mask the bucket. Baseline, Kenny Younger, I... <laughs> Too wide open, I think. Fired up Joe Ford with a rip gorilla rebound. Hager for three. He has been taking that shot. And he's starting this third quarter strong after sitting out for a while in the second quarter. Joe Ford. Good. But he has really harassed Younger the last two quarters of this game. Hager. Cut it to four. Now he's cut it to four again with the two. Younger, triple team. Tries to draw the foul. Can't get it. Boy, he's working hard. Still, the ball comes up to the... Knights have done a good job neutralizing Kenny Younger since his first quarter outburst. Wow. Mark Hoverson. Now, you remember the first quarter when Hoverson tried to do that and he got just rejected. Behrman the steal, but... No, the Knights come back with it. Can they tie it? They do. Can you believe it? John Hager has come up with the big baskets tonight for the Knights, and now he's got a chance to give them the lead. And not only is the Grand Fork Central contingency going nuts, but look across the way. The Shanley people are up cheering for Grand Fork Central. Here's the replay. Hager goes up, he gets hacked, it falls through, and it's a tie game at 25 with a chance to take the lead on the free throw. Minot calls the timeout. We have a tie game. Stick around. When Hager jumps outside, Younger's the guy to go get him, so watch for... Now Hager's alone. Three! Central, their biggest lead of the ballgame. Just five seconds left. Not a lot of time for the Knights to get off a shot. Mask will have to take it. What a move! What a great move by Greg Mask! He surprised Kenny Younger by dipping to his left. Younger didn't even have a chance to harass the shot. Grant Fork Central looking for the huge upset we and better, a state title. We better strap it on, Dan. Why not? In a rare position to have it come back in the fourth quarter. That's what they're going to have to do if they want their second straight state title. Everybody's all tournament team as we had to fill those out tonight. Oh, Greg Mass. Oh, my. You know, we have talked about what great athletes these Grand Fork Central Knights are. Greg Mass shows it here. Watch this dipsy do. How do you do? What a nice move by Grand Fork Central's Greg Mass. Joe Ford for three. Oh, ho, ho. Joe Ford has three clock. Well, I was going to say you see Hoverson come in after another minute, but he's coming in right now. Big Joe shot Ford. by Greg Mass for his ability to handle the basketball. I think this game deserves another four minutes. They got to get a three. Behrman is a guy that can do it. Shoots it. Off. No good. Younger. One last chance. Oh! Grand Fork Central has won the state title. They have stunned the home team. Berryman trying to tie up the game. Central at a three-point lead. Kenny Younger can't do it. Congratulations, Grand Fork Central, as they win the state championship tonight, beating Goliath Minot by the final of 42-39. The Knights, a great season, 21-4.